Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay back at y'all again, man. I appreciate you guys for tapping in and watching the videos. Always supporting, man, sending good energy to each other. You know, I love looking at the comments, man, and see you guys interact with each other and just always sending good vibes. So I appreciate that, man. Make sure you hit that like button and also hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss the video, man. I greatly appreciate you. So, guys, I want to talk about why. Sometimes you might lose things. The Most High will take things, take people out of your life, right? And there's a couple reasons why that happens, okay? So feel me when I say this. Make sure y'all stick around for the whole video because I'm about to tap in. One of the reasons why the Most High will take someone or something out of your life is because you haven't shown enough gratitude for that. You know, you didn't appreciate it. Right, it's like that old saying, you don't appreciate a good thing until it's gone. Just like when, when 2020 came in, that whole fiasco with the toilet paper. There was no toilet paper in stock in any store. And everyone was going crazy. And at that time, when it was no longer available, it became very valuable. Alright, so before that, no one really cared. You wasn't thinking twice about toilet paper. Even though we all use it every single day. You know, so that's an example of what happens when you don't show enough gratitude for something. It gets taken away from you. And then all of a sudden, the value shoots up. Right. This will happen with people, too. Sometimes you might have people in your life you take advantage of. You don't really see their value at the time. So when they leave or they get taken away from you or even vice versa, people can be taken out of your life because they didn't show no gratitude for you. Right, And the Most High has to separate you from this person so that you realize what they really meant in your life. Things have to be taken away from you so that you understand what it really meant for you, the truth about it, the type of energy that it brought to you. Right, So this will happen, guys. The Most High will, will make these moves in your life to let you know, to help you grow, to help you figure out what's really important to you. So don't take things personal. Try to understand why you're in this situation and why it's happening to you. Okay? It can be a good thing. Right? Also, the most high could be taking people out of your life, taking things away from you because it doesn't serve you. It's not good for you. Right? So he'll take it away so that you can see, you can finally see the truth of how it was affecting your life. That person that thing whatever you was doing your environment it wasn't meant for you okay it was bringing you down it was holding you back it was draining your energy right but sometimes we can be we can be in this illusion you know the people that we're around could put us in an illusion and we think that they're good for us we think that our situation is good for us but it's not it's draining us so in order for you to understand that it has to be separated it has to be thrown out of your life okay and then you'll wake up and, and see the truth you'll smell the coffee you'll realize that this energy this presence in your life was draining you man it was sucking your energy away okay it had no good intentions for you and i want you guys to understand this you know we 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 sometimes blame ourselves for certain things happening we try to figure out why you know what's the issue what did i do and sometimes it's not even what you did. This is actually a blessing in disguise to help you understand. Okay? So don't always think that the choices that you're making is bringing you down a, a, a dark path or bringing these situations into your life. It is. But at the same time, it's like a road map. You know, you're going along this destination, this path to teach you about yourself. There's good and bad in everything. Taking an L can be a good thing. Because you can take something from that Losing people can be a good thing Because you take something from that It makes you see life from a new perspective One thing you have to do though Is you have to make sure you're showing gratitude For what you have Even if the people in your life Aren't serving you right now They're in your life for a reason 
Okay, try to learn from that situation and show gratitude because that person, even though they're not for you, they're about to take you through a journey of self-realization, self-awareness. Okay, I show gratitude for the good and bad things in my life. Not just for the good, that's selfish. You only want to show gratitude when things are going right in your life, but you don't want to look at the, the low moments in your life and be like, wow, I really learned something from this. This is helping me appreciate when I'm at the top, when life is going good, right? You got to appreciate being at the bottom too, right? Because you need both. You, you need both spectrums. You need both perspectives. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate the life journey that you're on right now and where it's taking you, what it's going to teach you. You will be separated from a lot of things, certain energies, especially when you start to evolve within yourself. When you go through this evolution, it's just certain things that can't, go with you so it has to be separated you mix anything with water when you put fire under water and when water rises up to a higher frequency whatever was mixed with that water especially if it's solid like sugar or salt or whatever it's going to stay back because it's too heavy it can't go where that steam that water is going right it can't rise up to that vibration so the most high will detach things from your life that's not on the same frequency as you and that can't rise up to that level. Some people in your life aren't meant to rise up to that vibration where you're going, right? The situation that you're in right now, the things that you're doing, the, the habits and the routine that you built for your life, our daily habits, the things that we do, can't go to the next stage, to the next level of our evolution, right? Because it's not on that frequency. It has to stay back. It has to stay at its own level. So you got to appreciate when this happens to you guys. Don't just, you know, start getting sad, start getting depressed and thinking that, oh, you, you know, something's going wrong in your life. Look at it for what it really is. All right. It's a cleansing period. It's a detoxing period. And you're about to go to the next level. OK, you know, the beautiful thing about life is that every situation that you're in can help you grow and help you build yourself into a better man or woman right and that's something that I'm realizing as I get older and as I start to gain more awareness in myself is that every situation is beautiful life is beautiful you know even the ugly things in life there's some beauty in that and I'm just I'm starting to notice that man and really just sit back and and have more awareness but not just awareness be more observant of life, of, of the things around me, of the people around me. You know, sometimes we're so quick to judge others and so quick to judge our situation instead of being in a present moment and trying to understand it. Just really simply understanding it and trying to understand the nature of the thing that we're in. Try to understand the nature of people. You know, don't get caught up in your emotions because your emotions are temporary. It's just a wave of feelings. But sometimes those feelings aren't good for the long term. They're not going to serve you long term. You know what I'm saying? For example, I can go to the gym and work out. Working out hurts. Sometimes I don't feel like going. It's painful. You know what I'm saying? But that emotion, that feeling isn't going to serve me in the long run because I know if I keep going to the gym, it's going to help me stay healthy. It's going to help me build muscle. You know what I'm saying? All these things, all these good results are going to come from that. But if I just go off of my temporary feelings and think that's the full truth, then I'm going to suffer for that. Okay, guys, so apply that analogy to your life. Don't look at your situation right now and just go off your temporary feelings. Look at the long run of things. Look at the, the big picture. All right. Try to see life from a bird's eye view. And then you will start to understand clearly why you're in this situation and what it's going to do for you in your future. Just because you have things taken away from you don't always mean it's a bad thing. Things need to be cut. Sometimes you got to cut the bad pieces. You got to cut people off. You got to cut things out of your life sometimes. Right? If you got a piece of fruit that's going bad, you know, I do this sometimes too. I'll look at it and the part that's going bad, I'll just cut that off. Right? I'll separate it from the rest. And then the rest of it that's good still, I'll use that and eat that. Well, the same thing applies to your life. The parts of yourself, the things that you're indulging in that's going bad, 
the people in your life that's going bad, you know, sometimes you got to cut it off. You got to separate from it. And that's what the Most High is doing for you. Sometimes we don't see what the Most High sees. Our guides, our guardians, our higher self, it can see the energy that we're attached to. And we get stuck in the illusion. We see everything with the 3D lens. And sometimes we don't see the actual energy of a thing, the spirit of a thing. So this is why we lose people, we lose things, we detach. Okay, guys? Don't take it personal. Try to understand the nature of it and how it's going to affect you in the long run. Okay? With that being said, guys, if you want to donate to the channel, man, I'll leave all my links in the description. I hope this video resonated with you. You know, look at it, everything from a bird's eye view. Don't take it personal. All right? That being said, y'all have a beautiful day. Stay warm, and I'm out. Peace.